Yeah? Like Pennsylvania? Hello, Emrar. Cue ball, beloved. Very true. Very true. Has. Hello. Wakaya. Hello. Pappy. Perp slosh. The boy has been christened by their first ER shift. How did it go, Ramen? Yes, let's get some cues in the chat. Pap, can you fix me? Nothing can fix you. By the way, speaking of fixing, how about you guys fix my mood and and give me some Twitter interactions? Hmm? I posted something this... I was about to say this morning, but we all know what my morning time is. We need more interactions, folks. More likes, more retweets, more comments. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've been a bit of a slump lately. You know, with the whole YouTube situation and all. Pap actually streaming at a good time? What the heck does that mean? I wonder if I, like, posted that at the wrong time. Not necessarily on Twitter, but on Toy House. Because I posted it at, like, 1 a.m., to be fair. I did it, like, right after I finished it. And then it's, like, one person has favorited the thing. And, I mean, granted, sure, you can just argue, Pap, you've fallen off. And that may be true, but still kind of uncharacteristic. Just got here, what's the YouTube situation? So basically, the YouTube channel that I've had for pretty much a year now, that I've posted all my, like, animations, my big animation projects on, and speed paints and whatevers, it got terminated. For no reason. So I'm, I tried to file an appeal with YouTube, and then <coughs> they hit me with the automated response. And they're like, oh... Uh, fill out this form if you think you've been hijacked. Even though that's not what I said in my appeal form at all. And I'm like, okay, clearly you didn't listen to what I said. So then I'm also... I'm also, um, texting YouTube support on Twitter. And then they're also, they're also trying to automate me, you know? I, I like, wrote this big long paragraph explaining the situation. And they're like... You have to understand that the guidelines are for the sake of protecting community. How about the fact that nothing I did actually violated guidelines? So then I like did another kind of passive aggressive message and they're like, okay, we'll look into it. We'll get back to you on that. So I'm waiting for that now. Hello, pizza. So yes, it's been putting me in a very sad mood lately. This is why, chap, we need to get famous as soon as possible. Because, let me just tell you, if I had like 3 million subs, they would not be treating me this way. Don't you think? Imagine if your income were mainly on YouTube. I mean, even without considering income, it's like, it was like a capsule of all my art projects. Like all my, all the things I worked really hard on. And of course, I also really like going to like comments and stuff. It's like if someone just burned your photo album from childhood. I can't even use YouTube Premium. I had a YouTube Premium subscription on that account. And since it got deleted, I can no longer watch YouTube ad-free. Hello, 
Hello, Zacharias. But anyways, we are not here to talk about the absolute injustice committed towards me specifically for racial reasons. We are here to play video games. Mm -hmm. Let me say, chat, is anyone familiar with this game? Carto. 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 Because I'm not. I actually have no idea what this game's about. In any way. This is actually, um... It's a paid game. But it was gifted to me. By, a uh, Rob. Squishy Robert. He gave it to me! Because he said it reminds... I remind him of this game. And he had, like, a, a gift code for it. So now, we're going to use this for content. Obviously. You thought Cardo was another OC? We should make one that's named that. Little sip. Oh, you just reminded me I didn't fill up my water. There. Pathetic sip. Let me refill this real quick. Did any of you just hear my household ASMR? Hello, Cloudy. Q? Yes! It's Q! Actually, you know what? I was kind of thinking about how I really like using the Q avatar. And I was like imagining this alternate reality in which Q is my persona instead. I feel like I could pass it off if I redesigned it into like, pap looking. Not like the Avatar path, but like IRL path. I'm trying to scoot this chair forward. Okay. <coughs> Anyways, I'm pretty sure this is definitely not like a horror game or anything. It's like a, I don't know, happy game. I guess. I don't know. We will find out. Let us turn off the default music. Boom. And as always, if something is like not working, if the game doesn't show up on stream, let me know. <laughs> All right. Let's play. Oh my gosh. That's me. Long ago, the four nations lived in harmony. That was until the Paper Nation attacked. Grandma's already teaching us about land ownership. I wonder if... if Grandma mysteriously, you know disappears if we can collect on her, uh, inheritance. <gasps> oh, you stupid bitch! What have you done? You tore apart the earth! Anyways. Time to inspect my property. 
Hmm, excellent. Plenty of resources. Still wildlife here. We'll have to change that. Ooh. All right. I guess this is a rock. I do like this style. It feels very smooth. Is this the edge of the world? <gasps> Is that a taco? It's a little cinnamon roll. Tab map. Okay. Welcome, explorer. This world is yours to change. It better be. You can move any piece of the map. Huh. And rotate pieces as needed. A and D. All right. You can connect pieces with the same type of border. Shaded pieces of the map are lands you haven't explored yet. Go check them out. Huh. Interesting. Whoa. Wait. Wait, what? Oh, I guess the land needs to connect. Okay. I'm so smart. Oh. Okay. Let's explore. Is that a, a paper doll? What was that? Oh, that must be like a map piece. Pap, you are the brightest person alive. Why does that not sound very sincere? You found a new piece of the map. Connect new pieces to the existing map to reveal more of the world. Pieces of the map that have been scattered everywhere. The more you find, the bigger your world will grow. Hmm. I can't believe we're finally figuring out how God did it. New pieces, W. Uh. There we go. Interesting premise. What? Hey, who is that? Give me this first. Who are you, buddy? Ahoy there, little one. We don't get new visitors very often. Are your family with you? I'm pretty sure I own you. This is my land. I see. Well, no matter. All are welcome here, and your timing is fortunate. For today, we celebrate the coming of age of my dearest niece, Shannon. No way. Yes, it's very exciting. My god, a pirate? Yeah. He's just oozing in a uh, testosterone. I was so distracted this morning that I forgot my bait. Why are you fishing then? But no matter. It won't be long now until the ceremony. And you're going to have no fish for it. You're like the worst uncle I've ever met. Feel free to explore the island in the meantime, and I'll see you there. Hmm, I'm guessing we need to find the bait, because clearly he's not doing very well here. Cap, leave him alone, he's trying. No one ever got success just by trying, okay? You think the president just tried? Anyway. Oh, there's a house. What the fuck? <laughs> is this where your niece lives? Ew! What the fuck is that? You're gross. Rarg. Are you your worst nightmare are you 15 
Why does that matter? Mama said I have to be 15 before I can have my coming of age. If you're not 15, then how did you cross the sea? When someone turns 15, a boat arrives at the North Pier. A gift from the sea. Wait, so God is actually canon here. Oh wait, are we God? Is like, is like our family like God? Why else do we have control over the land like this? The 15 year old has to get in the boat and leave the island. Forever. I want to leave forever. That's like a month. <laughs> We all know why it ends up being forever, chat. I don't think we're exactly benevolent gods. Hmm. Oh. A yam. It looks very ripe. Hi, sweetie. Where did you come from? It's exciting to meet someone new. I've barely left the house in months. This little bundle of love keeps me pretty busy. Did you meet my husband already? He's fishing nearby. Though he's probably not catching much. That big lug left without any bait this morning. I guess we'll just have to rely on the whims of the ocean, as we always have. Good thing this little ladybug likes fish. Not like that filthy little fuss pot over there. I hate him too. I'm glad we agree on that. Hey! Have you visited the other families yet? Kellen and her family were the first ones to come to this island. They live right on the sea. Sia is my sister-in-law. She lives in the forest with her family. Her daughter Shannon's coming of age today. I can't believe it's here already. Wait, how do they like... How do they have access to each other? I control the borders of this world. See? All of you better get in my favor. Unless you want terrible things to happen to your loved ones. Who knows when's the last time you'll ever see them. A jar. Insightful. What does that say? Chatterino's covering it. No one's inside. Hmm. Okay. We, uh have more pieces. Ooh, there's the beginning of a forest. Map. This is an anthill. An unremarkable pile of dirt. That's not very imaginative. Hmm, there's really not much here, huh? seemed that whatever land Grandma had wasn't worth much. I wonder if there's like a right way to do this. Like, if by the end we have to put them in the correct locations based on the lore. Why does that not work? Does it have to be the forest thing? Okay. Oh. All right. Maybe we'll find some sweet berries in here. Anything else? Anything else? Chat, what are your theories so far? Why does this person have control over the world? It seems to be a generational thing as well. Whoa. All 
right? We just go up there. Hi, bitch. <laughs> Who is this unit? Mm. Oh, no. Oh, fuck. Chatterino! Let me just grab the little corner of chat. You guys are a nuisance as always. Oh no, you don't look familiar. I must really be lost. I know it's a small island, but I always get distracted on the way home. The ocean is just so beautiful. And full of mermaids. Wait. There are mermaids? This is a bit embarrassing, but... Could I trouble you to help me home? You seem to know your way around. I think you've asked the one person that's not qualified for that question. My house is west of the one on the grassland, along the sea. Now if I could only figure out which way is west. Don't ask me. Is... Wait, his house is... On the west grassland? Is it not this house? No, this belongs to the fisherman, doesn't it? Unless this is like a grandpa, like his, like their dad or something. I live west of the house on the grassland. Can you take me there? How do I take you there? Stop moving! Hmm. Do I have any more pieces? I don't. Huh. Oh, I bet it's just like I theorized. It's probably like... I have to actually find the correct way to put these together, I think. Yeah, it's like a puzzle. This doesn't really help, though. Okay, his house is west of the one on the grassland, like that? That thing? It doesn't show a house here, though. Where'd that fisherman go? Don't I have to give the bait back? How do I get the bait? No one's inside. Give me the jar. Pick up space. Explore tab. Oh, okay. There's a compass here. Well, yeah, I mean... I guess that is, yes, what I expected west to be, but there is nothing west. Is it like we, we put him... <laughs> what if we, like, literally put him in, a, in the west area? Happy Wappy, Beetle Schmeedle. How is the tattooing session? Oh! Oh my god, I didn't. Oh my god, I didn't. I'm so smart. This doesn't make sense, though. How did that just make a house? That lady does not look satisfied with her life. Hello, Spoopy. Yes, yes, this looks familiar. That's my house, and that lady must be my wife. Wow, what luck. Thank you for your help, sweet child. You don't know your own wife? No wonder why she looks so upset. Just gone home, it's sore, but looks cool as fuck. Yes. Let's go. Hello there. Thank you for helping my husband home. I love him, but he'd forget his nose if it wasn't attached to his face. I don't think I've seen you here before. Are you from another tribe? You're not hostile to other tribes, are you? What are your traditions? Our people are pioneers of the sea. Once we set sail, we settle on the first island that we find. We feel so lucky that it was this one. We just love it here. Have you met Shannon yet? She is very special to us. 
It will be hard to say goodbye, but we're excited for her. I'm sure she'd like to meet you if you get the chance. Where's Shannon? That bitch. Okay, so from what I understand, I guess all these people that live here are people that like already traveled when they were 15 and somehow they managed to not die and they live here now. And then their kids will one day go away forever. Where the fuck did her son go? <laughs> I moved him away. This thing has a giant fish on it. Clam soup. Yum. Not yum. Gross. A jar? Question? You take off the lid. Inside you find another jar! Oh my... Inside that jar is another even smaller jar?! <laughs> the world is full of miracles. No one's inside. Where is Shannon? What is this? Spiderweb? I want to meet the mermaids. Oh, the fisherman's over here, finally. Maybe I solve this by, like, putting him right next to, um, where the house is. I bet that could be it. Or, uh, rotate? Have a look around the island. Your house is right over there. Get the bait. You're not going to catch anything. Can you talk some sense into him? Maybe you can meet Shannon before she sails. She lives with her parents in the biggest forest. Where all of the trees meet. Where all of the trees meet, huh? I, oh, I have a new map piece. Okay. Forest time. Okay. Where all of the trees meet. Okay, we'll leave it like that for now. Oh, you stupid kid. Psst. What? Are you looking for Shannon? She lives in a forest way bigger than this one. Thanks for nothing. You don't even deserve to live. Tap, you were horrible at making maps? What the heck? I choose to go live just for chat to to utterly tarnish and and destroy, decimate my self-worth. Where's the forest? Is there a, where's the other map piece? There has to be another birds. the implication at least that all of these are going to have to be connected in some way because they all seem to know each other. That definitely doesn't seem right. What is this? Oh. Whoa. I just keep winning. Ah, uh, Shannon's house. What the? Shannon! That girl! Shannon looks like me! A woodchopper's axe. Finally a weapon. 
We need to be safe, after all. It seems they've killed a couple of animals. Maybe I can reason with these people. That guy looks mad. <laughs> can I help you, kid? This is private property, you know. I'm your daughter, Shannon. Sorry. It's been a tough few days with Shannon. You're really very welcome here. Okay. It is said that this animal dwelled on our ancestors' islands. I've heard it's called a black bear, or a Blair for short. Ah, like Blair Witch. It's hard to believe there are animals that big. I would love to see one. You would not want to meet it. Little teeth. What? Cat seven. Cat seven. With the nine months resubscription. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pap. Sadly, I need to head out, but this can't stop Pap grind. Finally, I catch a Pap stream again. Take care. Goodbye, Cat Seven. <sighs> I miss Cat Seven. A seashell. Oh, it's not shark teeth. Seashell necklace. Inside one of the glowing shells, you find a piece of the map. Damn. We really just took that from their home. A bubbling pot of seafood stew. Whoa. Gross. Some exquisite clay pots. What is this? Is this a bed? Plant. Don't those leaves smell heavenly? The plant sailed across the ocean with me. What? This thing's old! Hello, madame. Shannon keeps saying that she'll return after she sets sail. But that's not our way. It's not the will of the sea. Once our people set sail, they must never return to their origin. It's tradition. I know, dear. That girl really boils my blood sometimes. She's always done things her own way. I wonder where she gets it from. I'm sure this is hard for her, too. We just have to try and enjoy our time left together. Shannon probably went to the lake to be alone. Can you please check on her, young one? You seem like a good listener. You guys never give me the chance to talk. So obsessed with yourselves. Anyways, it's kind of messed up that they, like, forbid their children from ever seeing them again. Real Pokemon style. Where did Shannon go? To the lake. Water. Where are you? Oh, wait. More maps. Who the hell is Shen? Why are we trying to find her? So basically, Shannon is like this daughter. And th these island people, I guess, have a tradition where once they turn 15, which is quote unquote coming of age, of course, they're adults now, obviously. They, um, they have to sail alone into the open ocean and never come back. <laughs> As is tradition. Hey there, Shannon. You're pretty. I'm just not ready to leave. I know it's tradition, but my family is all I have. Why can't I come back and visit them after I've set sail? Our people have had that tradition for so long. I bet they've forgotten why they do it in the first place. Not all traditions are good, you know. Sometimes we do them just because it's what we've always done. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just upset. Thank you for listening. 
Who might you be? Oh, no need to be nervous. I'm Shannon. Welcome to our island. I'm about to leave it forever, though. My coming-of-age ceremony is today. I guess part of me is excited, but I'm scared that I'll be lonely out there. Bitch, I'll be scared, too! I don't even think I'd survive! It might take me a while to make new friends. How do you even know you're gonna see any other humans ever again? And adventures are always more fun with someone else. Oh my god. Shannon, you and I should go on the adventure together. I mean, look at us. We have so much alike. We have the same little ponytail in the back of our head. Practically the exact same facial features. It's like we're meant for each other. Um, I know I just met you, but would you maybe want to... Is she gonna ask me? Oh my god. Yes. Yes. Come with me. Yes! Yes, I would! Let's go! You look like you'd be a good friend. Take that as a yes. Oh, I nodded. Oh my gosh. Wow, really? This is gonna be so much fun! I can't wait to tell my parents! What about your family? Do you need to tell them too? Yeah, am I 15? <laughs> what was that face? I actually killed my family. For life insurance. Hmm. Well then, we'll just have to go find them. The video game version of children being pushed into the adult world in taxes. Yeah. Oh, there's one last thing I need to do before we set sail. Maybe you can help me? Yes. I'm finally talking. I always want to have my home close by, so I need a good handful of soil to bring with us. Are we not standing on top of it right now? I just need a bit more time to say goodbye to the island. Can you please find some soil for me? You can find the best soil where the forest, the coastline, and the grassland meet. When you find it, can you please put some in this bag for me? Thanks! Is it like that pile of dirt we saw? Havoc Shannon, we're best friends forever. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Yes! I've got the dirt. Looks great, thanks. I mean, I don't know how you judge the quality of the soil from the back, but hmm, and there's a strange scrap of paper buried in. What? Oh, that's mine. Oh, do you want it? All yours. I think that was the last thing I needed. I'm ready to set sail. The high seas will be no match for us. Shannon and. Shannon and Kato. Oh. If you want to go get ready, I'll meet you at the North Pier for my ceremony. Hey. Wow, she like forgot her family pretty quick once she saw that we could come along. Same. Now, where's the North Pier? Alright, uh... I wonder if we have to put it north, or if it's okay to just put it somewhere else. Uh. Hmm. We're kind of sailing from the wrong location, but I think that's fine.
Oh my I think this is how Cannon Path would walk. Just slightly bouncy. What is this? Inventory? Where am I? Oh. Uh. Okay, wait. There we go. Oh look, everyone's all gathered. How did you catch a fish? You... The fisherman works in mysterious ways. I'm ready to go, Shannon. Or maybe should I talk with all these people first? I. <clears throat> May I ask you a favor? Please take this memento with you. And if you meet my son somewhere out there, give it to him? The odds are low, but I'll take any chance I get to send him our love. Whoa, your son's probably dead. We made it! Just in time for the dog show. For the what? Teach me your secrets. I'm really going to miss Shannon. Who will help me reel the nets in? I'm so proud of her, though. And good on you for going with her. I thought this was going to be like a conflict. Like, you weren't allowed to do that or something. Honey, look! That boat is Shannon's gift from the sea. It always feels like magic when they appear. Who made that boat? Did I make the boat? Did my grandma make the boat? Is the boat for me? That boat is awesome. You could definitely use some claws though. You could use a claw on your jugular. This lady, um, you know, her character design, like the, the round kind of droopy eyed look, it reminds me of the lady from um the Pixar film Bow. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? She looks very similar. Wasn't that also- that was also like a story about like, um, letting go of your kids to do their own thing. Hmm, but this is like the opposite. May the sea bless your voyage with happiness. Shannon's so lucky to have a friend like you. Hmm. I suppose it's time. I hear that you'll be joining Shannon. That's very kind of you. Are you ready to go, best friend in the universe? Hi, Kendo. Hello. I can't believe the boat really came. I guess I'm ready to go. What about you? Nah. <laughs> yes, I'm ready, Shannon. Let's get the ceremony started! Bao is kind of weird but really cute though. It like... I think Bao made me cry. I'm pretty sure. My dearest, a parting gift for you. A necklace made from swordfish bones. Ew! It's gonna smell. May it bring you peace and perseverance. Pap? Cat? And accompanying you day and night. My beautiful daughter. Aww. Anyways. I miss my grandma. Close your eyes and feel the gentle embrace of the wind. May you find your destiny, just as we found ours. We love you, Shannon.
You know, I wonder if there's a kind of pressure you feel when you, um, you arrive on an island with other people, but there's, like, not enough people. So it's kind of, like, expected that you'll end up marrying, like, the other person on the island, even if you don't want to. We love you, Shannon. Oh. I don't have a father. Thank you, everyone, for your blessings. I've come of age, and the world awaits. You know, Shannon, I don't really think that 15 is, is all that much of age, though. My beloved spawner. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? We'll be right back. Shannon, stop with that nonsense. She's just kidding, dear. Say hi to the lobsters. Blah, blah, blah. blah but they're saying too many things. Farewell, everyone. We'll see you later. <laughs> Come on, Carto. Let's ride these waves. On we go. You know, actually, I, did, I forgot to tell you, Shannon, but I literally have the powers of God, so we could just move your island right next to their island. It'll be like a ten-foot swim. Why are there giant squid here? Well, that went very smooth. Whew. We made it. I still can't believe you've never been sailing before. Or a salty old sea dog out there, Carto. I'll never know how you got us through that fog. <laughs> I like this entire time, I'm just so blank faced. I have my ways. I know tradition says that I'm supposed to settle on the first island I find, but I think I'll do just a bit more exploring. There's a whole world out there. This grassland does look nice, though. How about you have a look around, and I'll check out some nearby islands? We can meet back here tomorrow, and I'm totally going to find that sunken city. I swear I saw it! Sure you did. Alright. I'm surprised how easy it was for us to find this place. What the hell are these? Burial mounds? Oh my god, there's a sheep. Oh my god, there's a sheep. There's a sheep. There's a sheep. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Oh my, he's so block. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh my goodness. Bah. 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 Oh my god, it's so cute. It's a chunk. This is... This is my other best friend now. Still, I'm a little bit concerned with these things. This looks like maybe like a... A grave for a parent and a child. Oh, and there's clearly a path here. More burial mounds. Okay. This is a little bit concerning. Is that another sheep? Holy shit! Oh my god! Sure, that other stupid island had things like fish. But fish is so yesterday. Have you had sheep meat? Didn't think so. Alright. You know, I don't know about you, Shannon, but this is looking like a pretty nice island. Let's just add on some more real estate. Whoa. Wait, this place is actually like... Hmm. It doesn't really look like these things are all aligned correctly. But we have hit the motherload of islands. 
I don't know why the hell our parents settled on that stupid island with nothing on it. What? Meat. Okay, let's do the Minecraft sneak. Maybe I can get a crit. Who are you? What? Ah! My sheep! Have you seen my sheep? My sheep now. I drifted off for a moment. My sheep must have wandered away. They can't get enough of those snowy flowers. That says they taste like marshmallows. The sheep must have overheard. Will you help me round them up? What the fuck? Those are my friends, you know. I'm sorry, sheep. I have to condemn you to a much worse fate than death. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Maybe I have to get, like, a, one of these flowers, or... They don't respect me. What can I do? Oh! Okay, we're gonna avoid that for just a second. You have to follow me. Or I'll pick you up myself. Um, well, I know where they are. My woolly babies. Oh. Are those fluffy jerks? Blah, blah, blah. Are those fluffy jerks ignoring you? They must be really into those flowers. They won't follow you unless you have something even more delicious. What's the most delicious plant in the grassland? Maybe Auntie Tuya knows? She's a rhythm farmer. What does that mean? Is that what she was doing? Playing music for the plants? <coughs> she just threw a little bit of lint. Looks like Mo lost his sheep again. Typical. How can you be a shepherd when counting sheep puts you right to sleep? And now I suppose he's asked you to round them up. Yep. Well. I bet they'd follow you if you had some honey fruit. Just don't confuse the honey fruit with the red devils that grow around here. We even have a song about it. Bulbs of orange sweet as sugar only has one stem. Don't confuse it with the devil. Steer well clear of them. Stupid. This is why you never made it into Juilliard. Anyways. Wait, actually, I should have listened to that, because now I don't know what to look for. Bulbs of orange, Swedish sugar, only has one stem. Okay. Don't confuse it with the devil's ear. Well, so I'm guessing... Oh, oh. I bet this one's the correct one. And then these are the disgusting plants. But what happens if I, like, use the poisonous plant? <laughs> Can I kill the sheep? Wait, is there a saving function in this game? Hmm, it's only save and exit. Also, there's a load last checkpoint. So does that imply that I can actually, like... Failed the game. Your current progress will be safe. Okay, I want to save and try out, um... The wrong plant, and just see if that has any consequences. Oh, what if it, like... <laughs> what if it saves after I feed them the wrong thing? I don't care. <clears throat> it doesn't let me pick it. Give me the devil plant. This is so messed up. They literally won't let me do evil. What was the, um... I'm trying to find the inventory button.
<laughs> Are those simplified versions of the sheep? Stop trying to poison the sheep? Stop telling me how to live my life. Shannon would have wanted it. Come here, little sheep. Huh? Oh! So cute! All the sheep he loves me. They're my friends. My friends, the sheep. Take this. Man, I still wish I knew what happens if they ate the red one, though. Wasn't there one more sheep somewhere? Shannon would have wanted the sheeps alive. Don't speak on Shannon's behalf. You don't know her like I do. If anyone's drawing Pap fan art, Pap the Shepherd. I think that has a ring to it. Here are your sheep. Sadly, you found them. Just three more to go. Veronica, safe and sound, you naughty thing. Only two sheep left to find. You found Silvio! What a scamp. Hmm, I don't see Penelope anywhere. She must have gone to her secret spot in the middle of the snowy flowers. Secret spot? Is she hiding in a bush somewhere? Or what if this is Penelope's grave? I mean, if they're domesticating the sheep, there's really no reason for them to harvest the wool only, given the very few food sources, so... The bones have to go somewhere. Where's Penelope? That woolly bitch. They said in the middle of the flowers. Where's the middle of the flowers? Or maybe I have to rearrange it again. This looks like... Okay. have any new pieces. Oh, that looks like it kind of fits together. But this doesn't. None of those fit together. That looks like it could. Maybe. What shape is this island supposed to be?
I feel like it has to be that that triangular one that we find it at. I don't think that's correct. Granny, help me. You are so useless. Is it here? I miss Shannon. Say in the middle of the snowy flowers, there's nowhere to go. I feel like this has to be one of those things where you align the maps correctly. To, um, to get the result. This looks like the path has to connect to it. Maybe that's something. What the hell? I stole Shannon. We got married. Was officiated by cat. Marriage actually isn't allowed here, so none of your none of your marriages are valid. I just noticed the little dance that she's doing on the map. can this have? What am I supposed to do here? Center of the flowers. Oh my gosh. I am... No one can beat my genius. So not only do I have the power to change around tectonic plates as we know it, but I can create new land. There you are, Penelope. Are you ready to be skinned? You'll be punished severely for this. You found 
found all my sheep. Thank you so much. You're really good at finding things. Maybe you can help my dad? <laughs> Did your dad go to get milk? Is that what you're trying to ask me to help with? He's always on the hunt for new plants for his collection. Oh. Come visit our tent, and I can introduce you. We live on the other side of this prairie. Just follow the road. I'll meet you there. I just need to count my sheep. Oh, you are... Why is this... Why is this thing... Th hey, stop. Bah? Touch that. That was disgusting. Follow the Pappy Road. What? That's like my plane. Wait, bring that back. My dear sweet Garto. That was quite some excitement. I'm sure you're scared, but my granddaughter is strong. And don't worry about me, my, the airship is fine. She's been through worse. The people of this land are kind. Kind of odd. <laughs> and I know we'll find our way back to each other soon. It's in our blood. You're far from my body. But you'll never be far from my heart. Oh, and make sure to gather any pieces of our map that you see. It will help you find your way in the world. Now get out there and have some fun. I could be dead for all you know. And how did you know to send it right there? Unless you have a direct line of sight of me. Which then undermines your argument. Still, though, we seem to have settled on quite a nice island. What? Oh my gosh. The lore just keeps going on. Ah. Were you always... Ah. Every plant has its own rhythm, if you pay attention. Listen. Packages. Simak, sigamap, sigamap. Cabbages, cabbages. You hear that? They're already growing twice as fast. Oh, so you're crazy. Now quit interrupting me. You know what? Maybe this isn't the best island. Ooh, these people look nice. What is this? Straight roads to bridge. Okay. We'll sip. I've sipped. Chat. If you don't stop talking about your relationship lives right now, there will be some serious consequences. Curved roads to tents. Why is the sheep here? Ba ba ba! Students, listen. They have like. <laughs> they have a school? Jesus, this island is doing so much better than our home island. This is a lunar lotus. It blooms in the moonlight and burrows underground during the day. This is bee bristle. It looks soft, but don't touch it or you'll get a nasty sting. Ooh. Oh, hello there. Don't mind us. We're just in middle class. Are you looking for Mo? This is his usual route home. 
Just follow the curved roads and you'll see his tent. Sometimes he stops by the river, though. You can follow the straight roads there. Oh, and please tell him that his sheep got into my cabbages again. You dirty sheep. Wow. I'm liking, I'm liking the real estate here. Okay, the curved road goes up. All right, there's nothing. Any other map pieces? Or maybe this is just a quote-unquote straight road. Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Am I missing this something? of the map. What's up, Pappy? This guy! Hello. Or maybe I just uh, put extra road here? Or... It's all coming together. Do you know Pappy Van Winkle? I do not know what that is. I'm about to drink something illegal. Don't. Hello, Ollie. Are you the person I'm looking for? Hmm. Don't interrupt my secret mission. I mean, uh, my regular normal task that I definitely can't talk about. Look, I really can't say anything. Just that I'm looking for the head of the river. We heard that a special plant appears there under the right conditions. And that it might be the ghost lily. But that's all I can tell you. Nothing else. I have to get back to the mission. I'm so close. I'm about to crush my Adderall and antidepressants with rum and cough syrup. Chad! Why are you getting weird? Hmm? Is this what happens when I play a chill game? You just release all your borders? Who is Bobby? No road ahead. Hmm. So 
we need to find the end of this river. Chat, what the heck are we talking about? You guys are getting out of hand. Tap, don't get involved, it's complicated. It's my chat, Has. Listen, chat. We're going to have a little bit of an etiquette moment. It's fine to have your own little, like, conversations and stuff. But the whole, like, chat lore thing, when you start getting into, like, a really convoluted conversation, like, unrelated to the stream, it can be kind of distracting. And it's hard for me to bounce off of. Will behave right guys yes you better it's just a manners thing you know
Okay, I think chat has gotten very derailed today. So, I might just end the stream here. And we can raid Dialin. Just remember to behave yourselves. What is this song? Um, let me see, 5.43. It doesn't say the name for the specific timestamp, but um, I can put the link in chat for the whole playlist that's playing right now. Anyways, join the raid. Goodbye.